Yes! 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 Finally, after two whole years of grueling research, I, Honest Tufts, the non-metal alchemist, have brewed the potion that was thought to be impossible. The potion of poison resistance. And what if I accidentally blew up three state-funded laboratories, got shunned by the entire alchemy community and forced to work in this frigid wasteland for the last 10 months? This, this potion alone is worth all of that. And now, it's time for a field test. So let me just grab my sharp stone sword and my torches and my winter gear and we'll go tackle those nasty cave spiders in that nest on top of that hill that I've been using their gland for their ingredients. And for the first time, I get to tackle them without fear of getting hurt from poison. Alright. Now, if my calculations are correct, I have about one minute of poison resistance. Not sure of that number, but this should work. Alright put up that sign there just to be safe all right here we go don't fail me now signs all right let's see what we got come on buddy oh yeah I can take you I can finally take you now all right who wants some come on field test haha -ha. haha -ha. you suck you suck in your face all right perfect field test who the alchemic community is gonna rue the day they shunned me oh yeah the non-metal alchemist is back and i'm gonna take the alchemic world by storm all right so that was a, that that was yep that is what you thought it was it was a potion of poison resistance yep for the first time ever yep yes sir and it does last for one minute as I as you can see right there so let's explain how this thing works let's turn into game mode C just it's down it's right down here now I thought of this trick I have you know I have been thinking of this trick for about over a two months now and about a month ago I was figuring out how it was possible to do it this is all there is to it yeah that's just it these are just copies I was building with the help of orange 1095 or 1095 because I couldn't get the clock to working the you know the redstone clock that actually measure measures the timer because when you drink a potion you have a couple of things if you drink that same potion again it resets the timer it shouldn't add so that was the first challenge second challenge was when you die that potion is reset yep so that took a while and figuring out the clock I actually wrote in my blog that I needed help with the redstone clock orange 1095 tried to help eventually I told him what it was for about a month ago and we brainstormed and got these designs together this this one was mine this was his we worked on his server he gave me the file and he will also make a video so what I'm doing here is I am explaining the only the single player concept only at P so all my commands target at P and this is intentional so you if you're going to use this for multiplayer purposes which requires another scoreboard item yes this indeed does use scoreboard it uses two scoreboard objectives for multiplayer you need another one and if you want to figure that out you have to go to his channel to figure out uh, to his video to figure out how to do that he, it involves the usage of at random and at and at all in strategic uses to make basically the same thing it utilizes like uh, I think two or three more command blocks so let's begin I'll explain how it works so first this PT is for the multiplayer testing it that isn't necessary so we have two scoreboard objectives one is PR that display that that's basically how much time the poison resistance stays for another is HP which is a health parameter that decides how much health do you do you have as in when you die it should be removed so 
let me hold on let me just grab some poison potions real quick and let me just copy this thing real quick to show you the it does stack and let's just destroy these things all right and let me change my game mode again game mode s yes. all right so first things first poison i am now poisoned i am no longer poisoned i as you can see on the right side of the screen i have 60 seconds and if i drink it again it will reset back to 60 it resets back to 60 it's not immediate it's not immediate because it's utilizing on the clocks and now during this time this is a poison splash myself nothing happens like seriously nothing happens it's not like i was out of range hold on i'll get another one see it's still happening it's not that i'm out of range it's just that it simply doesn't happen the maximum damage you can take from poison is half a heart that's it that's it that's all you'll ever take because within one within one second the poison will be removed so this is how it works and also just to show you that it does reset when you um, kill yourself so here me reset it back to one minute this is an insta kill it's basically giving me instant damage and immediately the timer goes down to one poison resistance has worn off so it works perfectly fine in single player and it also works perfectly fine in multiplayer but however to learn that you have to go visit orange 1095's video so let's explain how this works this is a hopper clock obviously you can use a faster clock if you want that to happen so what it does is it clears 13 13 is water breathing an effect not possible in survival vanilla minecraft in fact an effect not possible without a command block in minecraft at all these potions basically the potion of poison resistance this is actually a water bottle this is basically the original potion water breathing that is copied into a water bottle and added some text to show poison resistance this is water breathing and the duration is doesn't matter as long as it's more than two seconds because then this will clear it this will clear it and when it's this clears it this also fires that now what this does this is where the scoreboard comes into play the this checks for a minimum score of PR and as long as PR or poison res is at least one it will reset 19 or poison to zero and this is in always running this hop, this command block is always being powered by this clock so as long as my PR is or poison resistance value is above zero it will delete all poison effects every redstone clock tick from this hopper clock when this thing runs what it does is it says that poison resistance applied to this player for one minute but it also sets the PR value to 60 every time a new effect comes it sets it to 60 it doesn't add 60 that's where the reset mechanic of a potion comes into play now we come to the second clock this is truly a one second clock this is th that redstone torch takes one tick to turn off and on this is four ticks so that's five ticks so every five plus five tick or ten redstone ticks this clock gives an output pulse or one second this is the second clock and that's why we are using 60 so it counts down from 60 what it does every time this clock turns on it tries it checks if the player score is one the minimum value of one maximum score of one so if it's at one it will say poison resistance has worn off why is it at one because if because the default value is zero so if it stays at zero it will constantly say that so it's says at one then reduces to zero this thing is the reduction it removes one every one second as long as the minimum is one so when the minimum is one it removes one again gets it down to zero and well it stops and that's about it and these two simply check for the health this one checks that when 
is my HP turning to zero with a PR of at least one. So it needs to be above one for the poison resistance to affect. And when these two conditions are set, it sets the PR down to one, which is immediately reduced to zero. And also uh, said in the chat that poison resistance has worn off. This needs to be powered one tick later because otherwise if they are powered simultaneously this will reduce it first. So this won't get powered. Yeah. So just put it one tick later. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Maximum you're gonna get one second delay which is always fantastic. And this one basically checks. This one applies a slight damage if your score is zero by using again a uh, poison effect you can use a wither effect by typing in 20 instead of 19 why this is because when a when a health scoreboard is created of type health it resets with zero not 20 which is actually your value of health right now it resets at zero and until you take damage the value will stay at zero which is weird but that's that's how stuff works i'll i'll show you wh what this is so hold on let me just change the game mode to see because i can't all right so let's instead display hp all right so instead display hp now let's remove hp all right so hp has been removed now one second my mouse is slipping all right so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this just to show you that it does indeed start at zero so so let's write the scoreboard and write that so it right now doesn't show because it is actually at zero that that's that's how weird it is it actually doesn't show because it's at default zero now if i write this i take damage take damage to 19 that's only when the health actually gets updated that hey it's not actually zero it's how the health scoreboard works in minecraft i it's weird i've actually done extensive searches on google and youtube this is to my knowledge the first ever application of a potion of poison resistance so if you want to figure out how to use this in a multiplayer situation i'll redirect to orange 1095's video and uh, if you use this in a custom map please let me know because i will be very interested in checking it out and it is extremely simple to do and i can't fly wow i'm not actually in creative mode right it is extremely simple it is surprisingly simple by the way you don't actually have to use a one second clock if you're afraid of redstone clock lagging you can just draw it from the hopper clock just remember redstone clock can be controlled to have a one second clock the hopper clock cannot it ticks i believe once every 0.8 seconds i'm not sure of that number i got that from the wiki i'm not sure of that number so you may have to do some tests on your own i was just i just wanted to be sure of the uh, of the time it takes for the potion to potion effect to last so yeah so called potion effect actually so you can use a lot of effects you can have an anti wither effect that clears wither effects or you know anything else like anti-blindness effect i don't know you can have a lot of pretty interesting stuff anti-speed anti pretty much anything you can clear any potion effect for a specific duration like an unspeed effect or a, or i don't know the unstrength effect unweak effect so, this can be used in marvelous ways and poison resistance man poison resistance also i want to also do a suggestion for minecraft it's I think it would be very helpful you can right now have a lot of specifiers in at p or at a or at r like score or stuff or distance or xyz or stuff like that i suggest another one ef equals effect it will only work for the players who have the current effect that is stated here for instance this will only work on players who have uh, an effect of water breathing and not no one else and the nearest player because i'm writing uh, at p if i write at all this will say something to all poison players in the map and i think this would be a very good selector 
uh, selector tag and this and this and that selector tag ef if it existed would make the multiplayer version of this mechanic extremely simple to do because then it wouldn't need to juggle with at r or, or like that at random or at all in any way it will simply use an uh, effect check to see if anyone has uh, water breathing effect and it will simply run that and then it wouldn't need this extra scoreboard anyway thank you for watching that has been my suggestion if this ends up in the game fine but anyway if you do use this in a map please let me know and i will be very interested in checking it out and thank you for watching this has been only creating for the first time a potion of poison resistance as the non-metal alchemist and see you later bye